Aloha interwebs, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for tuning in. Today is Friday, so we're gonna do some gameplay action, some LFR, back to Adventures in the LFR. But before we get to that, I just kind of wanted to take a minute and uh, say thank you, first of all, to all of my subscribers. And um, just to let you know, like, today is uh, Friday, uh, May 10th, 2013, and this is my two year anniversary for uploading videos to YouTube. And um, it's also going to be my 230th video. So it's kind of, that's a nice little round number for the event. Um, I appreciate it, all of you guys for coming by, coming by the channel and checking out my videos, whether you're here for the, the gameplay stuff, the paintball stuff, or the movie reviews. I really appreciate, appreciate you guys coming by, and um, I'm going to keep doing it. I wouldn't do it if you guys weren't uh, still watching. So I'm going to be pushing, trying to make this thing somewhat of a, financial viability for me which is like the end goal of a lot of youtubers so i'm going to try that um i'm really going to push for it but in the meantime let's get back to some gameplay videos and talk about how to fail in the lfr uh, i don't do uh, i don't do a whole lot of failing as far as like me dying but uh it's not like i do this thing like a pro either i, I went into this one completely blind i just realized i was able i uh, had a high enough uh, gear score to get in it so I was like, sure, let's try this one. And I didn't, I didn't look up anything at all. Um, just kind of had um, some chitter chatter on other YouTube channels that uh, that I watched. Uh, I've never even watched a complete video just because um, I, I didn't think I was going to be here so quickly. But basically, this first boss is an, is a an event like any other kind of council thing. There's a group of bad bosses, and you got to kill them all. And so there's usually an order. I'm pretty sure we did not do the correct order in this one. I'm pretty sure there's a healer in there somewhere. There's three bosses and uh, we, we burnt. I, I was just targeting the one with the skull. Hopefully whoever put the skull on him knew what they were talking about. So burnt down the one with the skull. That one died. Burnt down the next one with the skull. That one died. But I'm pretty sure that one was healing the other one. So maybe we should have gone for that one first. Uh, seems like it would have been a little bit easier. But we didn't do that. Uh, hence is the you know the curse of the LFR. Sometimes you do things uh, completely not the way it's supposed to, and good things still happen to you, uh, which was the case in this particular boss. Um, we killed two of the three. There was one left standing, and um, it, he seemed to be the o an overall basic boss. It was like a tank and spin kind of thing where he had a ch crap ton of health. Uh, so this fight actually took quite a bit of time, and I'm not 100% sure how it's done in regular 10 man or 25 man but in the LFR it seemed to th it seemed to me like a lot of things were going on that shouldn't have been <laughs> and LFR being what it is uh, where people go when they don't know what they're doing uh, it seemed to take a lot longer than it should have but eventually the, the boss died like I said probably not in the order uh, that it should have in the, the second portion the second boss of this uh, I did not listen to the lore but this dragon that had come down and was uh, friendly and was not targetable, eventually turned into this pissed off purple dragon that you can uh, target and fight. Um, there's pools of light. Uh, as I remember in most uh, raid scenarios, pools of light are good to stand in. Uh, pools of purple crap and fire on the ground are bad to stand in. So that was my going theme, is uh, don't stand in the purple crap and try to stand in the, the light, if I could. And it seemed to me like the tank was uh, pulling the dragon close to where the light was so that people standing in it could still attack the boss, which to me indicated that's where I should be standing. So uh, as far as I can tell, I was doing this one right. Uh, then the, the dragon becomes friendly and untargetable again, and uh, ads come out. The, uh, the Shaw looking type uh, ads, they come in from all around the room. And I'm sure in the regular version, 10 to 25 man version of this, uh, there's an order that's uh, optimal to uh, getting through the ad stage as quickly as possible. Um, as you can see, maybe we're doing that right in the LFR, maybe we're not, I don't know. I just followed the group. It seemed to me to be a good idea to attack the uh, Shaw that is the biggest one. Uh, so I did, I picked up the one that was the biggest one and then there were still more of them so I killed those. So eventually, you know, it was boss ads, boss ads, boss ads is basically how, how this one went down. Uh, don't stand in purple crap, stand in the light and eventually the boss will die. Uh, that that's what I was hoping was going to happen, so that was the plan that I stuck with, and uh, that's pretty much how it went down. So, 
I was feeling fairly confident, even though I was just kind of uh, like, what the hell am I doing? I think I'm doing this right. I mean, the, dra the life of the dragon seems to be going down. Um, ads were dying, and uh, you know, I'm assuming since they, they, were, they spawn in a circle and head towards the dragon, that bad things happen to you if they reach the dragon. So I'm glad that people were actually paying attention long enough to kill those things. This uh, next boss, com it, it completely pissed me off. And I'm going to tell you right now in the web, I do die at the very end of this boss fight, but that's really actually not why the boss pissed me off. It just had weird mechanics. Uh, things, things in combination that you, you don't often see. In a, in a raid boss, the, the mechanics in and of themselves aren't, aren't that big of a deal. He does a pushback, which is what that blue mist was. It, uh, it, it pushes you away, and um, I think it poisons you, and it damages you, and the healers have to you know, heal through that, and you just have to fight your way back to the boss. That's not really that surprising, but uh, at some point the boss will um, protect himself with a shield, and you can't attack him. Um, summons, adds, and then once you've killed the ads, which have to be, I guess, in an order, if you AoE, something bad happens. They didn't explain that in the raid chat, but I did see somebody type out no AoE, so I didn't. I picked the one with a skull on it. Um, hopefully that was the right one to kill first, because that's what I was going for. And then, you know, so you do the boss ads, boss ads things, and then the boss disappears. Yeah, he actually disappears, and there's people running around doing AOE all over the place like he's like the boss is a rogue so you have to like find him which is just kind of a I don't know I find I found it to be a strange combination of things that are going on uh, as, as as far as a boss fight goes uh, not necessarily hard uh, just but going into this blind not knowing what the boss did it was it was just super annoying um, and you know I, I did since I don't know the fights a and B, there was a, an aspect of him going um, invisible and going immune that it was hard for me to figure out when to time my um, my cooldowns. And generally speaking, in a um, an LFR fight, uh, there you go. See, you land in the water, don't get out of the water, die in the water. Um, usually in an LFR fight, it's easier to figure out what you know what you're supposed to do. But I just found that those mechanics hard to adjust to. Um, but as 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 so many times in the LFR situation, even when you fail horribly, if you notice, I'm actually the only dead person uh, in the raid in the water. Um, even though you're you're dumb and you fail, sometimes good things happen to you in the LFR. You get achievements and gear. Hey, new shoulders for me. On this last boss, this was even way more, it was, it was cool to do not knowing what was going to happen to me, but it was super annoying, super annoying as well. Um, you know, being the LFR, I think uh, a good thing that you can do right off the bat in a, in a boss fight is pop all your cooldowns. So I jumped in there, tank had aggro, I popped all my cooldowns, I started doing my DPS, and then this funny little thing happens to you. Funny that I can say that in retrospect, not as it was actually happening to me. Um, the boss fears, not a not an uncommon uh, aspect of uh, something that a boss might do to you. But right after that, thinking I'm going to get back in there and get some revenge on the boss, I get picked up and transported, teleported to a completely different platform where there's, uh, if you want to call him that, a mini boss. Uh, which, you know, it's not a loot-bearing boss, but it's just somebody that you have to beat up to get back to the other platform. So, I didn't actually necessarily know that. Uh, I, didn't, I, I assumed that it would need to be tanked, but uh, it's just a guy standing in the middle of a swirly-whirly room of death that you have to kill. So, I did that. I ran in there, and I did my best to kill this man, and this uh, panda guy, and um, I was just hoping that in some way, shape, or form, I would get healed. Because uh, I noticed that there was a couple times where I was taking some damage, and I didn't know if it was just part of the mechanics or if there. I, I don't even know what was keeping me alive in there. To be quite honest with you, I just wanted to ruin this panda's face and uh, try to move on to the next phase if I could even figure that out. Um, hopefully, they the, the the LFR scooped up like a, I don't know a tank, a DPS, and a healer and throw them all on the platform, or uh, you know decided to spice it up and throw all the DPS in one place. Uh, I, I'm, not, I'm not sure how I stayed alive through this whole particular portion of this encounter, but um, I didn't die on this platform. So that's one good thing. 
Um, and it was kind of fun after I realized that this is what I'm supposed to be doing. I didn't do something wrong and get teleported here. It seems to be a random uh, pickup, and uh, I assumed it was going to happen often. So once I figured out that people were just disappearing off this platform and I could click on the on the orb and te teleport me back, then I was like, okay, so maybe this is a, a pretty straightforward boss, boss as well where you have the same boss ads, boss ads ID, uh, ideal, where, where you would actually be doing, you know, the ad on the other platform. So a, a bit different mechanic on pretty much an old school theme. Um, and that's how it proceeded through the entire thing. I think I got teleported like two more times, but eventually the boss died and I got a new weapon. Mm, yeah. Yeah. I only died once. So that was good. Thanks for stopping by the channel interwebs. I appreciate it. Peace out. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Don't forget to subscribe. I've been Steve. You've been the interwebs. Catch you guys at the next video.